I have a very lengthy sermon today. Preach it, preach it, preach it. And to be honest, I have 15 pages of notes. Never in the history of preaching have I had 15 pages of notes. Preach them, preach them, preach them. But the truth is, I want to read them to you after I preach a few minutes. Is that all right? Yeah. I don't know, you know, I'm not a rapper. I can't rap. I ain't going to try to rap. But somewhere down in this sermon, I might rap a little bit. Hey, you might. If they get the right kind of beat, I ain't going to say I won't. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to say I will. I can help you. But what I am going to say is that God is my present help. Amen. 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 Yes, he is. And I do thank all of you that have been uh, praying for families that are distraught for many reasons. Right. Uh, you know, uh, we lost my brother, and then uh, yes. Gina lost her stepdad, yes. and Cheryl lost her father. Yes. And we've had a couple of weeks here just really intense. Yes stuff because it's intense and then we know of many that are sick and unable to do what they'd like to do but the good news at the end of the day is Jesus is still on the throne and he's still healing and delivering and setting free even though we don't always understand why things are unfolding the way they are I, I labeled this sermon three or four different kinds of ways the first sermon I had named was the king that had four names Right. Ain't that interesting? Yeah. And then the king that had four names with three in one. All right. <laughs> right. I could go on and name it many more things, but you know, I'm thinking, Lord, I don't know where we're going, but I am going to talk about the king this morning. All right. Right. I'm going to talk about Isaiah chapter 9, verse number 6, and it reads, For unto us a child is born. Yes. Yes. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the, the Mighty God, the Elkabor, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. So you need to get that revelation.
going to be crushed and we're going to go down and humiliate and defeat Does that mean our loved ones will be killed? That's what Israel meant. And their families would be broken up and destroyed. The land would be devastated. Economic havoc would be rampant. We live in there right now. The once proud nation would be brought to its knees in shame, humiliation, and judgment. But yet, in the midst of that dark and gloomy situation, somebody said, Yea, the Lord saith unto them. of the warrior are destroyed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the basic season for this, the basic reason for these blessings is that a child is born. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's done. It's done. <laughs> 700 years before the wise man gave gifts. 700 years before the angels sang. 700 years before the shepherds were in a field. Hey, hey. Isaiah began to tell us what Christmas was really going to be all about. 700 years before he ever came into existence. I wish I could preach this sermon to the left. I would get so stirred up that Christmas just all of a sudden took on a brand new meaning. My God, it's wonderful for gifts and all that. But I tell you, it ain't about a gift. Because the greatest gift that could ever be given. and how he came. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a virgin gave birth to him. I don't even wrap my mind around that right there. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. The virgin gave birth to one that would be called Emmanuel, meaning yes, God is with yes, us. Yes, yes. The Bible says he would be the rod out of the stem of Jesse. Uh -huh. <laughs> he is God's Messiah. Yeah, yeah. He's the promised deliverer yeah, absolutely. for me and you. Yeah. It's marvelous, majestic in his coming, something mysterious that only eyes of faith can see. Uh -huh. He can't yeah, yeah. for humanity. Right well, that don't make no sense to nobody. How can that be? <laughs> because it said, for unto us a child is born. Uh, children are born in earthly humanity. Yeah. 
But you know, Isaiah was not prophesying for the day he was living in. Uh -huh. He said, I, I prophesied looking unto a day. Remembers it besides me. We were still on TV then. And I had a big, Miss Pat, you remember that star we had up on the corner? Y'all remember I picked up that star that morning and preached? Have you seen the star? And I walked all over that church preaching about, have you seen the star? Anybody remember that besides me? I always think about it at Christmas time. I don't know why, it never leaves me because the question still remains have you seen the star? Right. Amen. It's a good question. Right. Amen. 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 Our, our, our other little things that people say, the wise men still follow him. All right. Uh -huh. it, it doesn't matter how you say it, but the truth is until you see that star called Woo! Jesus Christ, oh, your life was never changed. Amen. But once you recognize he is the star and you surrender to him, your life is changed forever. Amen. Oh, Amen. <laughs> so you see God's Christmas gift, the birth of Bethlehem was not his beginning. That's true. There was a time when Jesus was not. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. That's again. Yeah. Uh -huh. But there was never a time when the sun was not. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. It, it was by a counselor that 
between failing to sin, Satan got Eve involved in psychoanalysis. Woo! I'm working at that. Yeah. Uh, she got Adam involved in group therapy. Yeah. And together they plunged the whole world into his insanity. Oh.
He saw her as good will toward man. Y'all remember that? Amen. Isaiah tells us this one is the supreme giver of peace, for he is the prince of peace. Yes. He is the, he's greater than Gideon, who has in the day of Midian, who will put an end to the forces of evil who oppose the people of God. There is coming an end to the battle you're in. Amen. 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 Times of darkness and despair and death will come. Maybe I need to say that again. No, it's, right. it's coming to an end. Well, what kind of peace, preacher? Romans says he gives me the peace. He gives me peace with God. Yeah. Philippians says he gives me the peace of God. Yeah. Isaiah talks about you can have peace with man. First, you get peace between God and you. Then you get peace between you and others. Right. And then you get peace within your own self. All right, all right. That's a lot of peace. All right. All right. He don't just give you peace in one area. He does the whole. How much more Jesus for I can rock and roll? That's right. Oh, yes. It's written. Sir. It's good. Whoa. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Everybody good? Good yeah. word. Good yeah. word. Some of y'all looking like, I don't know what's with this woman. Can I tell you the real truth what's with me? Prince of Peace. When you fight hell and the deep, dark, blue colors, hey. and you determine that you're going to come out with the victory, yeah. you stand flat footed and you decree and declare what he is. And what it shall be, Amen. and what it ever will be, yeah. and nothing won't change. Amen. And I come to tell everybody, He is my El Gabor. Yeah. He is my everlasting Father. Yeah. I come to tell you, He's a wonderful counselor. Yeah. And when it looks like I would lose my mind, He says, Come back here, mind. Right. Get back up in there where you belong. Right. Amen. So my King is mighty in what He does. He's a promise-keeping God. Yeah. What he promises, he will fulfill. What he says, he will do. Amen. God promises David, I'll set up your seed after you. And they'll come, who will come from, from your body, and I will establish his kingdom. I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. That Jesus came from the lineage of David. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Read it in the Bible. You'll find it. Yeah. Luke 1, 31. The angel Gabriel says to Mary, And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no Isaiah references him as the king of kings because he'll rule completely. He'll rule, his rule will be universal, unending, and unparalleled. The government will be on his shoulder and no other. I know everybody thinks that you're going to vote in and vote out, and I understand all that. And I understand that we all have our differences of opinions. I respect that. Everybody has a right to their opinion because it's like noses. Everybody has one. Amen. <laughs> Oh, I'll change. It's like armpits. Everybody's got yeah, one. Is that better? That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. The first one you smell it, the second one it stinks. There you go. That's real. That is real. Yeah, it's real. Sometimes our opinion really does stink. Right. That is true. That's true. All of us. It ain't just one of us. It's all of us. And that's why we need this mighty counselor God. A wonderful counselor. We need it. So he can help us check up and get right and get stuff in line. The only thing you need to do is pray for this year that's coming for real. Amen. Go ahead. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I just heard the Lord say, and you better check up what you're dragging from this year into the next. All right. Thank you. So that means if you've got some unforgiveness in you, you better deposit it now before 2016 comes. If you've got some stuff in drama still working in you, you better lay it down before 2016 gets in here. If you've got some hate in your life, you better get rid of it before 2016 comes. Because you don't want to go into 2016 dealing with some of the stuff you dealt with this year. Amen. Amen. Let's don't be dragging none of the excess stuff over we're getting ready to go this year. Come on, let's be real. All of us. Preach it. Amen. Yes, Lord. Preach it. You know what I love about Jesus? You can't vote him in and you can't vote him out. Amen. Amen. That's true. I love him too. Amen. Somebody said. Somebody said 
America's answer is in the, I don't know which one is which, so forgive me. I'm just going to use them, okay? Uh, America's answer is in the elephant. Then somebody said, no, America's answer is in the, the donkey. Yeah. Yeah. But the church world knows America's answer is in the lamb. That's what the that. folks that take these uh, polls say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -uh. But my Bible don't say yeah. that. Yeah. And I don't believe the poll. I believe what the Bible says. The Bible says uh, of his government there'll be no end. Uh, of his kingdom there'll be no end. Uh, and Jesus, when he came preaching, he came preaching the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And then all these things will be added unto you. son that you can be certain that the king will rule completely, eternally, and powerfully. God guarantees it, so that settles it. Absolutely. Isaiah says, think and know, he's marvelous in how he came, majestic who he is, and mighty in what he will do. Amen. Are you about ready? Thank you, Lord. Are you about ready, Lord? Thank you, Lord. Well, give me one more minute, and I'll be ready. All right, now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try to rap, y'all. I'm just gonna read. That's up for him to make it sound like rap. <laughs> you know, they say that a gift will tell you something about the gift giver, and that be true. Yeah, that is true. Jesus' gift to us speaks volumes to me about God's love for us. The shoulders that bear the government of the universe are the shoulders that bore the cross at Calvary. Brother Mike referenced this the other Sunday. He's talking about God's indescribable gift. Amen. Second Corinthians. So I want to say thanks to God. Yes. For his gift. Amen. So I want to talk to you this morning for the rest of this time from this paper. So if you begin with the book of Genesis and you run through the book of Malachi right on through, God unfolds for us the drama of redemption. And the true essence of Christmas. It paints it for us step by step and stroke by stroke a portrait of God's Messiah, the Christ of Christmas, the King, the fourth man in the fire. Oh, all right. right. <laughs> y'all, we don't practice this stuff. We just do it wrong, okay? Y'all ready? They ain't got a clue what I need them to do, so whatever they do is what it's going to do. In the book of Genesis, he's the seed of a woman. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's our high priest. In Numbers, he's the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he's the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he's the captain of our salvation. In Judges, he's our judge and our lawgiver. In Ruth, he's our kinsman redeemer. In 1st and 2nd Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he's our reigning king.
Thank you. 